Right, this is a quick walk around video for a Honda Civic. This is a 1.8 EX automatic, 09 plate car, um, with a lovely low mileage. I think it was 36,000, but I'll check that when we get back into the car. My short term memory is appalling. Um, just to show you, this is a newer version of the car, not the very last type one. It's the facelift version that came out in 2009. Uh, where you can tell that there's a number of ways actually um, but most obvious externally is this new grille with the um, little vents either side of the H badge in black there so but a really good looking car uh, all the lenses on the front in fabulous order there's no cracks dents uh, scratches or fading of them at all apologize for the dampness of the car uh, so one of these sort of wet misty mornings um, I prefer to do them when they dry for obvious reasons but sometimes pressure to get as many of these videos done as I can mean I can't pick and choose the days but I tend to also pick the cleaner cars on days like this because there's obviously less to show in theory on them and um, this certainly qualifies as one of those bonnets incredibly free of stone tripping chipping sorry uh, I'm sure if you get a microscope out you'll you'll see the odd one or two there um, front offside wing unmarked front alloy wheel can't see any marks in there at all and the front tire has got absolutely tons of tread on it coming down the flank of the car all very very clean and crisp worth pointing out this car's um kind of a, a black bronze so on days cloudy days like today sorry i'll just finish what i'm doing here first i'll get sidetracked so rear alloy again completely unmarked and tire with tons and tons of tread on it and i'll just go down there just to show you how clean and crisp those panels are because I can't see any indentations at all on that side of the car and then pan back for you but no just to say that the, the it's actually kind of a black bronze it's a beautiful color and very very sought after uh, so on days like today it does look you know almost pure black but when the sun comes out it's got a really beautiful kind of a bronzy hue to it uh, which looks absolutely fabulous coming around the back of the car again all very very clean and crisp parking sensors there color coded to the vehicle and standard on these 09 plate cars because it wasn't standard on the earlier versions which it probably should have been and um, they all work absolutely perfectly just squat down again this side again it's absolutely mirror smooth on that side of the car can't see any indentations at all near side rear alloy tires got tons of tread and alloy is pretty much unmarked there and then just come down the remainder of the panel work again really really clean and crisp final tire again loads of tread and alloy on the front there in very 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 good condition uh, but overall a really really lovely looking example of one of these cars and in absolutely super condition right coming into the boot of the car now you can see there parcel shelves all good and intact 60 40 fold on the rear seats and the rear of the car as with the rest of it, in really, really lovely condition. So you've got your power outlet up there as well. And what's clever about these Honda Civic boots is you can either have a flat floor there, or you've got a little cubby hole underneath, good sort of six or seven inches deep at least. Or if you just give that a tug, pop it down, you can then just push that down to free up even more boot space. All right, coming to the back of the car now, rear near side door card in beautiful condition there. Back of the seats, Again, pretty much unmarked. Um, isn't always a given on the Civics. Quite often you find your kids' feet being sort of you know, banging the back of the front seats and giving them a good old scratch. But these are all in really lovely order. Yeah, door card on that side again, the offside, really nice. And I've just popped these seats up. It only takes literally milliseconds to do it. And then you can see how these magic seats work. Such a clever design. End up with this colossal amount of rear space, if you so wish, in the back of the car. And drop those down all beautifully engineered by Honda just pull the tab up drop it down and exactly the same that's with one hand holding a camera uh, and the leather work there you can see is in absolutely fabulous condition and a car with tons and tons and tons of rear leg room so coming to the front of the car now driver's door card all in lovely condition again worth pointing out obviously with the facelift versions you get this new style plastic trim much 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 more crust um, crash resistant they yeah, have scratch resistant than the uh, previous painted silver areas uh, it's got a full set of honda mats in the car sill area all really good driver seat as you'd expect with such a low mileage bolsters everything about it absolutely you know pretty much like new in all honesty uh, and then across the passenger side 
passenger seat again in equally good condition just to look up here and we've got this lovely panoramic roof so on days like today glamorable days you might have open to brighten up the interior on raging hot summer's days they'll be back again soon you can close it over the press of a button or press it open again there all right so inside the car now uh, just to show the passenger door card on the near side of the vehicle again just looks like brand new on there can't see any marks at all just to quickly show you full owner's manual pack for the car and the lock and wheel nut key obviously very important the dashboard itself wonderful design and an absolutely beautiful condition again just to point out that on these facelift versions um, this area here is now not shiny plastic it's um, textured so if, again much more resistant to scratching full automatic gearbox on this car not the eye shift version of the earlier models either and then down here center console area again in beautiful condition heated seat buttons all work absolutely perfectly i, I, I check those and i do it on the following road test as well coming across multifunction steering wheel again in wonderful condition there's no sort of damage to the leather parts all the painted air is all really good and in good excellent condition controls for um, climate control pixelation up there on the radio and ventilation system readout perfect and then my favorite part of the dashboard this two-tier design which is more about in the, the road test that follows just to go in there hope you can see that 36,714 miles on the car uh, as you can see engines running there's no warning lights on this vehicle whatsoever and then down here controls for obviously electric windows electric wing mirrors all work absolutely beautifully obviously you've got power folding mirrors just to show you quickly they all work exactly as they should which clearly clearly you'd expect but always nice to see so finally just under the engine bay now really nicely presented engine bay absolutely fabulous engines incredibly strong and durable um, but Honda lay these things out really nicely worth pointing out the engines sound infinitely noisier on video than they do in reality it's just the microphone picks up every kind of little sound um, a chain driven engine no cam belts on them um, and they've gone for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles with just normal regular servicing it's a wonderful wonderful unit hopefully what will follow in uh, a few seconds now will be a brief road test of this very car right, this is the road test for a Honda Civic uh, this is a 1.8 EX automatic cars registered PJ09WZZ mileage at the start of this brief road test is just 36,707 miles and the reason we basically do the road tests is we're now selling to much further afield with customers from all over Europe and the obviously the whole of the UK as well uh, as a company we feel it's right that customers get to see our cars in operation and the very car you're looking to come and see uh, with an extensive video of the car that way if there's any issues on the car we can be honest enough to tell you about them and we will um, and they're also done on the same roads locally as you'll be doing road tests yourself so hopefully it should be representative of what you will feel yourself when you come and drive the car Starting with the engine of the car, obviously a very, very low mileage and beautifully looked after car, so it comes as no surprise, it starts absolutely first press of the button, uh, settles to a very quiet, very even, idle. Engine's a beautiful unit, they always have been. Um, worth pointing out that obviously Honda VTEC engines of this type of generation um, don't use cam belts, they use cam chains, so there's no schedule change for that to be done. So obviously you save a huge amount on those frustrating cam belt changes that seem to come around far too often and I don't particularly like engines running with that are joined by a piece of rubber joining the top and the bottom of them seems uh, an accident waiting to happen uh, but this unit there's no warning lights on the car pulls absolutely beautifully very well suited to the gearbox it's got more low down grunt than you'd give credit to for a Honda VTEC engine and they, they, they pull very nicely from low revs and um, as I'm sat here now so the revs are absolutely stationary yeah I'll just, while I'm here as well I'll just pop it into, rever into neutral back into drive there's no change in um, note on there and into uh, reverse the reason I do that is I do it on all automatics um, don't really need to on the Hondas but it's worth checking just in case um, if there's any delays or big clunks going into gear um, then you know it can be a sign of uh, internal transmission wear not that really have really have an issue with these the, the Honda Auto boxes they are absolutely 
tough as old boots. You know, clearly Hondas are designed primarily for the American and uh, Japanese markets, which are automatic obsessed. Um, so you, you've got to build a good one for it to be uh, considered over there, and this certainly is that. Because the gearbox itself changes. I'll wait for it to change. It just can't feel it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful gear change. Um, worth pointing out, this is the facelift model, so it now has a full automatic gearbox. You know, I, I personally loved the iShift gearboxes, um, but a lot of customers didn't. Um, they, they found them quite kind of a little bit jerky um, you know, because they weren't really told how to operate them properly. You know, but I said, me being a fan's one thing, but when you drive one of these with these full autos, it is a, it's a lovely combination. Um, you know, very, very fuel efficient engines anyway so you know, get, getting sort of high 30s 40s the gallons is actually very very easy indeed certainly on a run um, but the purpose of this test drive is just to show the car in operation and to sort of feedback anything I need to I can't feel any where or anything to report in the gearbox um, or engine no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to anything on the car um, so all's in very very fine fettel Driving along, tracks absolutely bullet straight. There's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel of the car. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful power steering setup and chassis, but more of that later in the video. But just to report that steering's nowhere, absolutely zero that I can feel through the uh, steering of the car. Likewise, suspension of the vehicle. Um, you can hear it going over the bumps, which you should. But what I don't get any is any of these kind of secondary kind of uh, noises or resonances or clatterings, um, and that can be usually things like um, the little anti -roll, the anti roll bar links, little drop links, um, and the suspension struts have a little bit of chatter to them over over years and wear. Um, given such a low mileage, I wouldn't expect it. But if it had done it all around town, it may well have um, managed to wear through a couple of those. But it's incredibly tight and taut, and there's. You know, there's no detectable wear in the steering or suspension of the car at all. Um, also, driving at the legal limit now, uh, all very, very quiet and hushed in here. And they're very refined cars, actually. That you know, I've just done a quite long trip in one, and it's, it's, it's nice to do it again. It reminds you just how nice they are to drive. Um, but they, you know, what I'm really looking out for again on a test drive is if you know, there's a poorly fitted windscreen or sunroof or someone's damaged you know a seal on one of the doors getting in and out then you can end up with a little bit of kind of wind hiss or uh, rustle um, and that can be hugely irritating but uh, it's, it's uh, none of that at all in the car I'm just going to turn left up what is a notoriously bumpy road um, I'm just going to put my foot down quite hard and then uh, give the brakes a bit of a jab Really lovely solid brake pedal. If you hear something moving around, it's just the price board in the back just falling off the seat, so I apologize for that. Um, now, the brakes are nice and solid on the pedal, there's no pulsing on the brake pedal either, or, or, or vibrations coming back through the pedal itself, which suggests again that discs and pads and everything all in good order underneath. Um, obviously, we check those anyway as a matter of course, but it's even a good looking disc on a car, you can't visually tell it's got distortion. Um, you'll only find out when you're hitting brakes. No, more noticeably at speed we get a, a really sort of a uh, quite a sort of nasty judder but there's nothing on this at all um, right. so check the cruise control function and that's working exactly as it should so that's all fine they always do but it's just worth checking on the videos looking inside the car I mean, I absolutely adore this dashboard. I think it's an absolute work of art. Um, this one is in absolutely stunning condition. I can't see anywhere on it at all. I'm looking for any sort of marks or skags that would, you know, but there's none. Um, it's just a wonderful place to sit. This is, again, being a facelift version, you can tell because the plastics around the gear lever here and on the um, door pockets and around the electric window switches of this kind of this more uh, tungsten-y looking um, colour 
Fascinating, but they're far more cr um, scratch resistant than the earlier bright silvers. Um, also around here, this looks got it's like a plastic kind of carbon fiber esque um, look to it. That used to be shiny black plastic, which looked lovely. But you know, imagine got fingernails and you know grubby fingers. It could look marked quite easily, like a you know, cover of a kind of a, an iPhone or something. Um, but it's all in beautiful condition. Air conditioning pumps out absolutely ice cold air. Um, the seats are heat up beautifully with the heated seat switches. They all work perfectly. But every control has just a beautiful actuation to it. It's just so nice and easy to use. Um, the main dashboard is so interesting, but it's not sort of style over function. Quite the opposite. These are um, wonderful dashboards to sit behind. And what's the best part is this bit. I'm looking at that car in front, but I can clearly see out of my corner of my eye the speed I'm going because they've got this two deck, uh, two tier dashboard. So you've got this MPH up nice and high, and it means that I can, you know, literally I know where the speed limit is here, so I'm getting down to it. But I'm looking at that car in front, I'm not taking my eyes off the road or off the car in front at any moment to take in that information. It seems like a very slight thing, very small thing, but those milliseconds are when, you know, accidents do happen. Um, and I think it's a, a, it's a fantastic design. And unfortunately, on the, I think the very new Civic due out, um, I think they could revert back to conventional, which I, I think is a retrograde step, but that's by the by. Um, it just works beautifully. To the either side of the um, speedo, you've got an econometer and a little rev um, warning light, just to say you're getting close to the red line. And then down below that, you've got a more conventional pod, albeit with this kind of hologram effect where you've got this information display floating up in the middle of it, but all very easy to use. Um, Multifunction steering wheel, all works absolutely beautifully and it just doesn't feel as though it's ever really been used. Um, obviously we've got auto lights, auto wipers because it's an EX spec car. Electric blind, electric wing mirrors work perfectly as hopefully you've seen from the previous video as well. But the car drives and feels, it's cliched but it does feel like new. It's just got that real tightness and sharpness to it. You know you can have a 30,000 mile car which have been badly looked after which would just would not feel like that. Oh well done, straight through a red light. DN 11 OAX, well done. Um, so, but this one just has that real tautness to it. Um, coming back to really the chassis and the drive of the car, because I think it, it really needs pointing out. I mean, there's some road tests that say they're they're, they're too hard riding. Um, it's you know what? There's so much garbage written about cars and motor impressors. I'm sure they've got you know money from manufacturers to set to say things. Comfort's relative, and it really is. I think this is one of the most comfortable cars you'll ever drive because if you're just going in a straight line then yes a lovely soft riding car is fantastic. Um, if however like most people you're going to have to negotiate roundabouts, tight turns, B roads, A roads, a mix of roads, this is where these cars are brilliant. You've got incredibly quick steering um, but unlike some cars and I'm thinking kind of Alphas of the past where it'd be, it'd be quick but with a soft chassis. Um, that's not a good combination. This has got, as soon as you turn the steering wheel of the car, the, the, the chassis responds to it beautifully. And it, you've got a very flat cornering stance. Now, hopefully I've got a, quite a bit of road in front of me with two very challenging corners. Um, and this car absolutely eats them up. Now, if this was softly sprung, it would immediately keel over. But if I turn the wheel, literally just a fraction, and hold it on that line, its composure and its lack of movement is astonishing and then this one is a horrible adverse camber which catches virtually every car out so I let it go in turn the wheel and nothing it's just brilliant so comfort yeah it's over some potholes and over some ridges it's going to be harder than most uh, but not uncomfortable um, but the corners like these it's one of the most comfortable cars you'll ever get to drive and also one of the nicest cars because it is genuinely good fun and that's not made up and these are very very popular with people who are looking to you know, you know change from the cars maybe they've had a bit of a buzz in a Subaru or a Celica cars like that where people they got a bit fed up with them um, and this is the closest thing they can get with a family car so but a great car test drive it's wonderful but if I've missed anything out please do give us a call